Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. Uh, today is Monday, and on Monday we do Mini Monday Madness. We paint little miniature paintings. I decided to print out one of my favorite photographs that I did. Um, I took a picture of this farm in uh, Massachusetts that has sunflowers in the fall, and we're gonna paint a mini <laughs> picture of it. It's kinda look like it, but you know, a little simpler, a little easier because it's small. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button, ding, um, to know when my videos are up. And let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna go over my supplies. I have a three inch by three inch, 100% uh, cotton arches paper, cold press, water jars up here, paper towel, my palette with all my paints. I will mostly be using this Princeton number five long round brush. Um, I did mask in already some of the sunflowers with the PBO drawing gum, which is masking fluid. And here's the photograph that I took um, of the sunflower field in Newberry, Mass. Obviously, I'm not going to get this whole picture in because it's going to be a tiny three by three inch piece. But see, there's the big sunflowers in here. I took it upon myself to go ahead earlier to mask in where the sunflowers will go because I'm going to paint a wash of the sky above and then some wash and some green down here and then go into details um, of the sunflowers and whatnot. So let's get started. Um, I'm just going to wash in this blue sky that I see here and it's really bright blue. I'm going to use my aqua marine color right here and I'm just going to first when I just get this part right across here, all wet. There's a little blue on my brush, but that's okay. So I'm just going across the top here, which is going to be wet with the blue sky with the brush. Just going to wash that in and grab my ultramarine blue because this color is pretty bright. Wash it in here. And we're going to do the clouds like I've shown you before, which is the paper towel lifting up the paint itself. I'm going to take the more of the concentrated of this ultramarine because it's pretty intense, pretty intense fall looking sky. It was a great day. I took my parents and my aunt up there and it was a lot of sunflowers and a lot of bees. Now I didn't get stung by a bee, but I think I might have. didn't feel it. It was weird. So I've washed in that sky a little bit and I'm going to grab my little piece of paper towel and I'm just going to dab in where the clouds are. It's not going to be perfectly exact like the picture, but kind of close. I'm having trouble getting that part off, so I'm going to go in, take my brush, clean it off, get that wet. Go back in, grab paper towel. Eh, it doesn't want to conform, but that's okay. You get the idea of the blue sky. If you want to go back in and add a little more blue color. Just dab that in to those areas. Because it was pretty intense that day. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect like the picture, but it will be close. It's just an inspiration. All right, I'm going to wash in some green because you see all these different layers of greens here. I'm going to wash in a green color and then we'll go on top and make it darker. We can do it darker down here. I'm not going to do all the sunflowers. I mean, I could try and get some of it in there, but it's just going to be too much. I'm washing it over those sunflowers that I painted in. I might want to add some more sunflowers in here, so I'm just going to dab in some yellow so I don't go and touch that area. And I'm going to wash in some greenery up here.
careful not to touch too much of that over there. I'm just going to grab whatever dark green I have. I have a hooker's green. I have a hooker's green. And I'll put in some burnt umber. Maybe a little indigo. The indigo makes it really dark. Look at that. Deep, dark green. And that was over in here. Just washing in here. Just in the bottom area. Not too much because I'm going to show leaves on top of this greenery. Remember, it's not going to be perfect. It's just going to have that feeling of the same picture. So I'm going to wash this in. All right, we're going to let this dry. I'm going to let that dry and come back to it and rub off the um, masking fluid and start painting the sunflowers and the leaves and the details. Okay, so that's dry. I have my square rubber cement pickup. It's just a great hard like plastic square. You can buy these anywhere. They're so cheap, like three bucks, four bucks, Amazon. It's called the rubber cement pickup. I need to pick up the masking really quickly. See how easy that is. I mean, you could use tape or something else, but this just two seconds. It's up. There you go. See? And then we're going to grab our brush and we're going to grab some yellow paints. Get in there and get those sunflowers painted up. So I've got some light yellow, some dark yellow, so only a little medium red. I want to tone this down just a touch. Okay, we're going to fill in the sunflower. Now the bottom one was just green petals, I mean, excuse me, <laughs> yellow petals of the sunflower. And then here we'll fill in the orange, I mean the yellow and the center, which is a deep brown. It's a little golden brown in the pictures that I'm looking at. Had a little green tinge in the middle too. I mean, you can just cover the whole thing because you know it's going to be darker if you want to do that. Just tiny little sunflowers. And pretty much sunflower petals are self-explanatory. If you want me to draw that out in the end, I will show you how to draw them in the end of this tutorial. So if you stick around, stick around for a while, I'll show you how to draw them out. Very simple. It's like a daisy, but bigger leaves, a little pointier, the bigger old wide center. So I'm just pushing this paint in. It's not going to look perfect. It's not meant to. I'm going to grab some of this like medium red orange. A little creamy, not super wet. Put some dark yellow in here. Some leaves, we're going to just bleed that out a little bit. If it's too much, we'll just wipe it off on our paper towel. Just getting another layer of color in here. Going from the scented outward. See, I'm just taking my tip of my brush, putting in that second layer of color. Just a fun little painting on Mini Monday Madness. And I'll keep layering so I have more detail on the sunflower because it's still a little wet. This one has a really bright yellow leaf, so petals. So I'm going to go back and take some of that orange out as I'm looking at my photograph. 
and behind it, take some of this dark green out. Behind this, we're seeing some greenery. Oh, it's bleeding in. Mistakes happen in live tutorials here. All right, we're going to work on some of the stems and leaves while that's drying. Now they're going to show them later, but I'm going to put them a little darker. Just putting the stems down in a darker tone. And then the leaves. So mine's going to be changed up a little bit. I could have done where it's a darker color on the background and lighter on the front. But I am doing it the opposite way. Or I can just go around and put the dark color as the background, painting around it, as you see here. So the negative space. See, I'm painting the dark color behind this lighter area. That's the negative space. So that those sunflowers really pop out. And then you can see the leaves too. Like I said, it's not going to be like this perfect, realistic. It's just a, it's a tiny little sketch in a way. Just to give you the feeling of the little sunflower field. You want to get that even darker. I've added some indigo, some burnt umber, and this green. And I'm really just going to go in there and dab that. And you can see the leaves. Trying to pull up those little dark areas in the field with that really deep dark green while maintaining the other leaves. Mostly around by the sunflower petals so they punch out a little more. Careful not to go into the yellow too much because it's going to be hard to lift that color up. But you get the feeling that it's this crazy little field here. Like I said, it's like a little teeny painting, so it's not going to be super realistic. You could paint it that way. I'm choosing not to. Another little trick. Um, you want to get a little brighter on those leaves right there. Just take the yellow itself, the bright yellow. Go on top of that green and see? Pulls it, makes it nice lime green. And you can pop that color right out. See how quick I did that? Just by putting the yellow on top of it. Now we're going to go in and add that center. It is a well, my picture shows it as a golden yellow. I'm going to do the traditional dark brown, blackish center. Kind of like that better. So it's burnt umber for me and a little black. I'll go in there and I'll make that little center. And I'll add a little halo. Center. That one doesn't have a center. That's just the, the edge of the, the picture. And then we're going to add a little more details on the actual sunflowers again. Get this orange color tone, which is the medium red, mixed in with the yellow that we had. 
and go in and throw in little lines from the sunflower. Again, this is not super realistic because it's so tiny. You're just getting a feel that it looks similar. Just putting in that little orange touch next to the center. And add in little details with the petals. I'm not going to get super realistic because it's an impossibility with this tiny guy. I could if I had a magnifying glass. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It's this this little simple sunflower paint. Like again, grab that just the plain yellow paint by itself and go right on top of that green. And make the leaves and it just pulls right up. It just brightens that color. It's layering the color and on, on another color. Let's peel up this little tape. Hold it back. So, let's see. How did it come out? Does it look like it? <laughs> Not so bad. Um, drawing the sunflower, let me grab a piece of paper. So, sunflower is, as you see in this picture right here, ovally kind of center, not a super round center. This one had a, like an oval, this one. And you're making these petals like this. So, it's a curved line, meeting a curved line. They have crazy ones behind them. You want them to look crazy sporadic, and I never have them face on. You could do that, but that's not how they actually are in nature. See this one? Just like this. And their stem and their big leaves. Leaves are kind of like a, you know, spade kind of shape. A little jagged with the veins if you want to get technical but that's how you draw a sunflower so petals always think of them as a curve line a curve line meets each other one curve line down here one curve line here and then even skinnier ones and then your oval in your center so i hope that helped a little bit that's the way i explain it um, but there we go. There's our little mini sunflower field for mini Monday Madness. Just kind of a quick, easy tutorial today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for coming by my channel. Thanks for all your wonderful comments. Um, if you have any questions, again, leave them in the comment section. I try and get to them. I can't always get to them, but I do my best. And I hope you're having a somewhat happy day today. I know it's tough these days, but we'll get through this. So take care and have a wonderful day.